first thing we want to do, install or unzip Blender. I recommend using the portable version because all the folders are in one location opposed to having them spread out throughout your PC. We will install the import export plugin. Open Blender, go to edit, preference, add-ons, and click on the upper right corner to install from zip. Select the plugin zip file that says works with hair. Find your Blender add-ons directory by going into your Blender folder and clicking on your number version, scripts, and then add-ons, and drop everything from the folder. Shout out to Greg K. Waze for making this. After this, you should restart and the window should show up. If it doesn't, go back to preferences, click on community, and manually enable it. And real quick, huge shout out to TG so good for teaching me most of what I know about 2K modding. His link will be in the description. Install 7-Zip and Notepad++ using the installers. 7-Zip will be used to open and modify if files. As for Notepad++, we'll use this to open the manifest, a document that contains the file location of most assets in the game. I will show you how to get to 2K's main directory shortly. Now for Woody's Texture Viewer, we're going to drag and drop the application in our main 2K folder. And to get to that folder, you will go to your Steam library and right click on your 2K game and go to Manage, Local Files, and your directory will appear. Drop the application and now do the same steps for NBA 2K Tools Installer. Now we will run it and accept the risks. This is the roster editor we will be using to find the player IDs and jersey names. I will now assign 7-Zip as the default app when opening .rar. Right click on the .rar and select property. Then find the 7ZFM. Hit apply and now every time you double click a file, it will automatically open up 7-Zip. Now open the hook.rar with 7-Zip and copy the contents to your main 2K directory. And do the same thing with the 2K21 exporter. This tool allows you to export files without having the game open. Huge shout out to Louis. He makes the best modern tools for the game. Now head over to Jersey and grab this file name. And now open your manifest file located in your 2K folder and open it with Notepad++. We're gonna search for it. You're gonna get multiple results, so you're gonna click on Find All in Current Document. And you're gonna look at everything. The only way to know which one, which one it is, you're gonna have to go one by one and open it. Once you get the file name with the .if, you're gonna paste in the Explorer by pressing F8, Mod File Manager, and you're gonna paste Click export and as you can see here they are now we're gonna take the textures for the color and the normals and now we need to find the uh, model for the jersey itself so we're gonna type here Nike Jersey Nike U we're gonna go with that one hopefully that's the one Now you can grab all the files or only the ones you want Blender to load if you know what you're doing. Now create a folder. I'm going to name mine Jersey and I'm going to drop all my Jersey files in here. I recommend not getting the LOD files because we, we're going to end up deleting those later in Blender anyway. But if you're not sure which files you, de you need or don't need, just grab everything. You can just delete whatever you don't need in Blender. It won't affect the final product. Now find the shorts color and shorts normal, same thing. Open up Blender and now you're going to import your jersey, which should be this file right here. Static jersey male average is what we're looking for. Get rid of the camera and the light and now we're going to assign a texture. In object molecular objects, click on the bottom right corner where it says material properties. Click on the plus button. Click on new. Go all the way where it says base color and click on image texture. Click on open. Go to your files and assign whatever texture you want to assign. And we're going to do this multiple times. Now find the shorts.
I'm gonna get rid of this. This is extra stuff I was working on before this. Now I'm gonna drop everything into my jersey folder. Now I'm gonna import the shorts. Uh, here I'm gonna assign the texture material. However, I click on the LOD shape one instead of the player one. So I gotta delete everything and assign it. And even though we deleted the LOD, the material is still in Blender. So we just need to assign it. And now we're gonna grab our player. You're gonna open up your 2K tools, you're gonna click on players, and you're gonna search for the player that you want. Now you're gonna grab the face ID, and you're gonna look up in your manifest, PNG, and that number. That includes everything that has PNG number, facial hair, PNG number, hair, and so on and so forth. And then you're gonna create a new document, a new text file, and you're gonna paste everything that has PNG and that number in it, you're gonna export it. And you also want to do face that number dot if. That will be your face texture. It's gonna be located in there. Everything else is gonna be in your PNG. Your PNG is your body file. But it also contains your textures for your chest and your your legs and your and your and your abs. It also contains your skeleton. So we're going to open everything. We're going to open all the PNGs and then you're going to create a folder. I'm going to name mine Braun. And I'm going to literally drop everything in that drop everything in there from your PNG. For the face, you only need two textures. You need the normal and the color. Next, you're going to open up your favorite image editor, open up all your DDS files, and you're going to make sure all the colors match. After that, you're going to save as a PNG. Now open up Blender. Get rid of all of this, and now you're going to import your hi-hat.scene. Make sure you click on Import Model Skeleton. Now you're going to get rid of all the LODs. You can just delete them right here. Also the LOD skeletons. Now we're going to import the jersey and the shorts. Delete the LODs. Now we're going to import the beard. Delete the LODs. Now to assign texture. In object mode, you're going to click on your model. Go to your bottom right, all the way to materials. You're going to add a material. And now you're going to click on the yellow dot where it says base color. And you're going to select image texture. After that, you're going to click on open. And you're going to find your texture. Do it twice. One for the face and another one for the torso texture. Now we're going to assign the torso texture to the right vertex group. So you're going to go into your object data properties, which is the green triangle. And you're going to go into edit mode. You're going to select you're going to select base body shape and then you're going to go into your materials properties and then you're going to hit assign. And if you can see the nipples, you did it right. Now we're going to add another material and we're going to, we're going to open the legs texture. Then we're going to go into your UV group, look for the legs shader and assign it. Now go back into your UV groups, grab the eyes, and aside the eye texture. Do the same thing for the lashes. However, for the lashes, the thing with lashes and other transparent materials like hair and beard, in the material section, all the way down, after we assign the file, we need to set the blend mode and shadow mode to alpha clip. And now click on your shading tab, zoom out with your mouse wheel, and connect the alpha on the left with the alpha on the right, like this. And you should see the difference in your preview. We will do this again for the beard. Click on your beard in object mode, then add the material, yellow dot, image texture. Click on the folder, find your facial hair texture. Now scroll all the way down and set blend mode and shadow mode to alpha clip. Lastly, connect alpha with alpha, like this, and notice the difference.
Now we will get rid of the headband by scaling it. In edit mode, deselect everything and then select headband shape or headband furry shape or something like that. The hotkey for scaling is S. Make it small enough so you cannot see. Next, we will make the shade smooth by right clicking on your model in object mode and select shade smooth. Next, we will fix the clipping by going into sculpt mode with our character model selected and we're going to use the elastic deform brush. Then increase the brush radius. And now to make sure your player doesn't clip through the uniform, you will use the left click to pick and then slowly drag the model inwards. It takes practice but it becomes easier the more repetitions you put in. Make sure to enable symmetry. This way you don't do double the work. Once satisfied, assign the jersey and shorts texture. Click on the model you want to add the texture to in object mode and add a material. Yellow dot, image textures, texture name, same thing with the shorts. Next, we're going to assign the normal texture or normal map. The normals affect how light interacts with the texture so you can detect bumps, scratches, and other details in the texture. With your object selected, go back into your shading tab and on the bottom panel, click on add texture image texture and find your normal. Since I forgot to save it as a PNG earlier, I will do that right now. Select the normal texture and now instead of doing the alpha to alpha, we're going to connect color to normal like this and you should notice the difference on your preview. Repeat with the shirt. Click on the model in object mode and on the bottom panel click on add texture, image texture, find your normal and connect the color to the normal. And one last time for the face. Now we're going to assign the skeleton to the model. You're going to select your base body. Then you're going to hold shift. And then while still holding down shift, you're going to select the shorts, the beard, and finally the skeleton. Right click and go to parent and click with automatic weight. The order of the models do not matter as long as you pick the skeleton last. That's the most important part. And just like that, you have an NBA 2K rig. So the generic controls you're going to need, you're going to use your left click to select the bone. And then I use R to rotate and then you play around to, until you satisfy with whatever pose you want. You can create some, some pretty original thumbnails with this. And now for the, for the beard, if you, I don't know if y'all if notice, but the beard doesn't follow the skeleton. And that's, I believe is because there are no facial bones, but that's just a guess. And now we're going to assign a light source and a camera. You're going to go to object mode, you're going to click shift A, your add menu is going to come up, and then you're going to click on light. The one I like the most is sun, because it's the brightest, it's the easiest one to manage. And then you're going to click on camera. To move around the objects, you, you're going to select them and press G, then left click wherever you want to place it. I like to scale the camera, so it's easier to manage. If you're not selecting anything in an object mode and you press zero on your numpad, you're automatically going to toggle your camera view. Once you're here and you select the camera up here to your right, you can press G and then you can scroll your mouse and with it, you can make minor adjustments. For the sun, you want to come over to the right to your light bulb icon where it says object data properties and where it says strength, you're going to bring that up to at least four. You're going to notice the intensity goes up by a lot. The other thing you can play with is the angle down here. And once you're satisfied, just hit F12 and you will render your image. Once your image comes up, you go to image, save as, and then you, you work your magic in Photoshop. And that is all I got. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to clear them up.